Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 3. So we started Season 2 last week. Uh, centers around, I think it's Ina. I, I don't know exactly how to pronounce his name yet. Uh, Ina or Ina. Yep, that's right. I might go with Ina for now. We saw Thorfinn again and he's a slave as some people were clarifying because we kind of didn't put it together but um essentially that's his punishment for raising his hand to canute right uh which lets him off lightly because you you can't be doing that that's true that's true but thorfinn's a lot different and now i know we were both sad about it but it's quite refreshing to see a different side to the character um he does seem defeated though so we can only hope that he finds his way, finds a purpose. And maybe he'll find that through Aina. Yeah. My brain wants to say Aina. <laughs> let's let's say one each, and then hopefully one of them's correct. Yes. But we also got introduced to some new characters. Mm -hmm. Their master, I forgot his name. Katil, I think it is. Katil, right, and his son. Or Kettle. Shit. <laughs> this is going to be a problem. Uh, yeah, I think it might be Katil. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. And then there's Olma, his son. He's a loose unit. Yeah. Uh, wants to do his own thing. Uh, so, yeah, we've been introduced to some new characters also at the end of last episode. There was the lovely looking girl on the back of the, the cart or whatever. Not Canute. Not Canute. <laughs> I was going to say Canute's better looking, but... Oh, dang. <laughs> um, no, there's but... <laughs> no disrespect to this nice woman. No disrespect. No. I'm just saying Canute's different caliber, right? <laughs> but... um. Is royalty. Yeah, that's right. Uh Aina's in love now, though. Yes, so love at first sight. We'll see how that progresses. Um, yeah, this is a lot different on the farm. Enjoying it nonetheless. We have heard that season two is incredible and that recently there have been some really, really peak episodes of Villain oh, Saga. like being released still now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think they're up to like episode 17 or something while we're filming this video. But also, if you guys are interested in getting early access to these episodes, I'll leave a link to our Patreon down below. Also, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. Oh, that's be... right. They were drunk, weren't they? Yeah, it might be good for him to vent. He's very frustrated, Alma. With these guys? Um, they'll probably forget everything, so yeah. This episode is called Snake. Okay, so it's centered around Floki. <laughs> okay. He's very literate. I told you he'd vent. He's just not making a whole lot of sense, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Is he gonna draw it this time? I don't think he can. <laughs> oh, okay. Just like that. He's drunk. This is not gonna end well. Oh my gosh. A rite of passage. Oh. oh, don't tell me he goes to the slaves. No, no. Or he's going to try with Thorfinn. Oh, help him, please. Problem with Thorfinn is he, he might allow himself to get hurt. I don't think so. I think he might, because it's the master's son. You think Thorfinn has stooped that low? I don't know, Carly. I'm just thinking, like, based on the way Thorfinn's been acting, he doesn't seem like he wants to be alive. He's <laughs> having a nightmare. You got no idea what he's been through. It's replaying some memories. Oh, 
He's broken. 100% just broken. She's nice. <laughs> Thorfinn just ignores her. <gasps> she thinks he's handsome. Oh no, he's, he's going to pass out. Aina. Aina. Shit. You were correct. <laughs> oh no. She prostitute. She looks so pretty. Please choose Thorfinn. Oh my gosh. What, you actually think Thorfinn's gonna like fight him? There's a better chance of surviving than Aina does. No, but Aina will actually fight back. Uh, Isn't the master going to be pissed? He yes. Pays for them both to do the work. They're not even armed, are they? Aina and Thorfinn? Hmm. Nah, they've given him nothing. Yeah, but you're not the owner. He can't do it, Kali. I wonder what Thorfinn's thinking, honestly. I reckon Alma might kill him. Highly doubt. I don't think he's capable, like you said. It's wishful thinking. <laughs> Wow. Oh. That was nice of him. Oh, that, that is really nice. You see? He wants to die. No way. Or maybe you're right. Maybe he's going to fight back. Kali, I don't know, because don't they're, not know gonna, they're not going to kill Thorfinn in the third episode. It's just not going to happen. Okay, okay. Thorfinn kills him, and then he's sentenced to die, and then they run away together. No. Thorfinn's, like, stopped with the violence. Shit. No will to live, Carly. Deep down, he's got a kind heart, I think, Alma. Like his dad's. Yeah, he's got a point. He's just kind of like stating the obvious. Didn't even flinch. He didn't even grimace. How does this guy fit into the story? Does he stumble upon them? Yeah. Mm. 
This is nuts, man. He's not even grimacing. He's not moving. This is hard to watch. My gosh. He wants to die. Spitting facts here. Terrible he feels that way. I'm sure there is a little bit of good. He's gone through it. I, I know that. Oh, shit! He cut off his ear. Not the whole thing. A little bit of cartilage. Good. Okay. Someone spoke up. The dude on the horse. Oh, his name is Snake. What? The dude is shitting himself. Who is this guy? Boss. Okay. He's in charge of like the army or whatever. The the warriors. Is he gonna kill him? Oh shit! <laughs> so this dude's like next level. Seemed like a bit of a dickhead when he was talking to Gramps. Look at him. It's kind of sexy, Carly. He's I don't got know. like twenty percent more attractive. <laughs> yeah, they shouldn't be messing around like that. Yeah, so I think I was right about how that was going to um, play out. Thorfinn just wants to die. Yeah. Uh, he just... That was a bit of a chilling scene. Him just standing there, took all the slashes to his body, his ear, didn't flinch. It's like he's felt all that pain and more before. I mean, he's had a fight with Thorkel, to be fair. So, like, mm. you know, but it, it's more symbolic. And, and it's quite terrible and tragic that Thorfinn has um, given up on life, essentially. He doesn't find it worth living. He just kind of does it. He's not violent anymore, tries to please his master or whatever, or just he follows the rules. But he's got no um, purpose whatsoever. So the only change we're going to get in Thorfinn is if he finds purpose in something else. Yes, exactly. It was kind of like when Thor's died at the end, he just had to stand there and take it. Mm. But different circumstances, different situations. Yeah. Thor's was doing it out of sacrifice and Thorfinn just didn't give a shit anymore. Yeah. Which was really sad to see. It kind of pissed me off a bit, but I mean, it's just a product of everything that's happened to him in his life. Yeah, exactly. That was nice from Aina there. Yeah, I was going to say, I already really like the character. It's been three episodes. Yeah, um, like he hasn't got the strength or anything, but he's got courage. He's got a lot of courage. Uh, he does, definitely. He's known Thorfinn for five minutes. Yeah, I'm trying to remember back to that um, interaction that Aina had with Leif. What did Leif actually tell him? That he was looking for someone called Thorfinn, but were there any other details involved? Like, does Aina know that Thorfinn has a mum and a sister just like he did back at home? I don't think they've had many heart-to-hearts. Yeah, no, I, that's why I'm wondering if Leif kind of said that. I'm forgetting, because there's a parallel to be made there, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I think all Aina said was Thorfinn's like a lucky guy, someone's actually looking for him. Okay, yeah. I think Aina can, can try to get through to, you know, Thorfinn because from what we're aware of, Ilva and Helga, they're alive still, from what we're aware of. And Aina would do anything to have his mum and his sister back, you know. So th there's definitely a direct parallel to be made there and or like a link. So I'm hoping that gets visited at some point. 
I just found it amazing how Aina did that for Thorfinn, even after having like that really nice interaction with the woman that he likes. Yeah, he yeah. he gave up everything there um, for Thorfinn. That was um, really courageous. And Aina went way up in my ranks after something like that. That's just a really courageous act. But let's talk about Snake. Snake. Because I think I agree with you. The last shot there... Something changed. Yeah, something... <laughs> He went from like a boy to a man. He's a sexy man. He's a sexy man. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> he almost looks like a young Thor's a little bit. Does he not? Yeah. He's kind of hot. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Hopefully, you know. He seems like a decent enough dude. He didn't like what he was doing, what Fox was doing. No. As punched anyone his, wouldn't. He punched his teeth out. Yeah, he kind of heard like a little crunching sound effect there which was nice yeah okay so we've got a new character here um it seems like he comes from like a nice house with the with the grandpa like you know they're doing their thing yeah maybe he's like the breadwinner so he expects gramps to like you know do breakfast and stuff well he's in charge of of these um soldiers and whatnot he's their boss do you reckon he sees something in thorfinn um it's obviously piqued his interest because like what the heck was that Fox is just slashing him up and he's standing there, like, couldn't give two shits. I just don't think he liked what he saw. Like, he shouldn't be doing that. Okay. I'm wondering if it goes, like, deeper, though, if Snake wants to recruit. Okay. It, my, my initial impression was, I mean, actually, now that you say that, it can be a decent theory. My initial impression that it was, like, they still serve Catil. Catil? Let's go with Catil. Serves him, so, you know, he wouldn't want something like that happening to, to those slaves. So, they kind of put an end to it. Because then, they're meant to be under his watch. Under Snake's watch. So... Yeah, true. Um, there's that. But, yeah, maybe you could be right. I don't think he sees something in Thorfinn, though. Like, he was there for two seconds before he intervened. I think he was maybe intrigued. Because, no, he said he had some inner monologue, didn't he? Or, like, we heard his thoughts... Well, I thought he, as he was rocking up, like we didn't see him in the crowd watching for too long. Maybe you're right. He's interesting nonetheless. Yeah, kind of wondering how the story progresses from here. So I'm thinking maybe this snake guy, maybe there's like a future with him for the boys. I'm not entirely sure. I just kind of liked that uh, courage from both the characters there, Thorfinn and Aina. How they were both, you know, trying to protect each other to some degree. Yeah. More on Aina's part. Thorfinn kind of just wanted to die, which is a real shame. I, I really do hope he comes out of that. I think it's adorable with that that lovely lady and, and Aina. Yeah, she's so sweet. As well. She was probably looking all cute and stuff on the carriage when we first saw her. Because you know how the owners mm. in the slave market or whatever the crap that was, they like do them all up nice with yeah. like makeup and nice clothes. So she yeah. was probably new. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, looks like it. Um, She's his personal slave. I was going to say, she doesn't seem displeased, upset. You never know what someone's feeling deep down, but that's how you know, like, Kettle's a somewhat, you know, nice dude and mm. quite a lovely man from what we've seen because, you know, she's she seems content, okay. Yeah, she's not, like, severely traumatized no. by the looks of things. No, she didn't seem too broken or anything like that. I think Ulmer's interesting as well because he's that kind of, like, coward... Uh, who tries to put on a brave face, tries to act tough, but he's a little pussycat. That's not a bad thing. He didn't want to hurt someone there, I don't think. And he feared his dad there in that moment. Yeah, he knew. Yeah, and uh, you see how much everyone respects Katil. I don't want to say his name all the time because I don't want to... Tra I know Just when... So the master until we know the correct pronunciation. pronunciation. Okay, yeah, the master. Um, You can see the respect that everyone's got for him, except for maybe Fox... Yeah, I don't think that they, well, he in particular was showing too much respect for his property, his slaves, mm. fox and snake. I wonder if that's symbolic, like who kills who, you know? Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe they are doing something with the symbolism there. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to comment on how good, like, the character writing is in the show because you kind of get a, a really good grasp on all the characters, their motives, their actions. Everything makes a lot of sense. All the interactions make so much sense. There doesn't need to be a lot of action for you to be invested in what's going on. And that's because of the strength of the characters, in my opinion. Like, these are new characters already. But, you know, you already get them. I felt like yeah. I've known Ulmer for a season. Same with Aina, all of that, you know. So, 
Um, yeah, true that. They've built him up really well so far. Yeah. I'm excited to learn more about Snake. Yeah, I'm really same. interested in what's going on there. Yeah, we'll probably get that next episode. Mm, yeah. I don't think he's all sunshine and daisies. No, maybe not, but he's hot. <laughs> That's yeah. the main thing. <laughs> I can see him being up there on your husband list by the, by, by the end of it. I yeah. was already thinking about that. Yeah, I'm sure you were. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.